Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. So today we're back in the garage, which right now is a complete mess. I can't film on the table that we usually use over there because it is just stacked with uh, parts and I, I really need to clean this place up. Uh, but just wanted to show you guys a new project in the garage here. This is actually a Traxxas T-Max. It used to be a nitro car that uh, that we converted to uh, brushless, to brushless electric power. All right. So uh, this I actually found on Craigslist and bought for $30, believe it or not, without any electronics except for the steering servo here. Uh, but, you know, very clean chassis. There wasn't any grease or, or grit on it. The, um, you know, the owner intended to convert it over to electric and clean everything up. Uh, and just never got around to it, so I went ahead and took it off his hands and uh, installed this this brushless system. So there's the brushless motor here uh, and the speed control. So this is actually a Hobby Wing setup that our good friends at Hobby Wing sent over to us. I'm going to go ahead and grab the box over here. And try not to drop the truck. Close call there. All right. So this is actually an an easy run combo kit. Right. And what this consists of is it is a 3400 kV motor paired with the waterproof WP SC8 speed control. All right, so I, I probably spent you know just about an hour installing this system, but bolted the the motor up, used the one of the stock um, 17 tooth pinions here. I, I had found out through some research on the internet that. Uh, you know, a smaller can setup like this actually works well in this this chassis. So this is a 36 millimeter motor, and you can see here, um, if I flip it, although it'll be upside down, right? It's a 3656, meaning it's it's 36 uh, millimeters in diameter and 56 inches long. So the can is 56, uh, sorry, 56 millimeters long. All right, so you know, using a larger motor like the Mamba Max or Mamba Monsters or whatnot, or you know, some of those larger one-eighth scale uh, monster truck motors in this chassis will result in a lot of damaged parts. Right, so a lot of people have tried it. Uh, the thing is that this this truck has um, plastic axles, right? So here, going to the front differential, and then here going to the rear. Uh, and then also going out to each of the tires, that's that's all plastic. It's it's a complete plastic drive line. So putting in a higher powered, higher torque motor um, is is going to break stuff, right? You will need to replace plastic axles. Running off of this motor, it's an absolute hoot, and I haven't had to change out the axles, which is actually fairly expensive, right? You're looking at probably about fifty six dollar, fifty or sixty dollars. Um, to, for the front and the rears each and then I don't know probably another 50 for the the front and rear uh, drive shafts to, to convert that over to steel so not cheap um, so I, I'm just gonna go ahead and run the smaller motor uh, another thing is that uh, I relocated the receiver box I just put it in the back here uh, using an existing hole and used an existing hole to mount the speed control as well just put a washer on this uh, this this WPSE8 actually drops in where a Traxxas Valenion brushless system would right so you can actually bolt it in um, using this little mounting plate that they include uh, into any basically any uh, Valenion ready or Valenion um, installed system right so it's a real nice upgrade there uh, I, I actually use the battery mount uh, this was off of a, an axial truck I think it was a Wraith I got it as part of a just a, a parts um, you know I just bought some parts off of a guy off Craigslist and this came with it so I went ahead and used it so again I used an existing hole here in the the rear and then uh, just drilled the new hole here um, to uh, to go ahead and mount this battery case so this will fit a standard two cell or three cell lipo and this thing is an absolute blast to drive so brought it to the park the other day let some some uh, you know some some kids at the park try it out uh, my son drove it as well just absolute blast to drive a um, lot of fun so uh, again uh, this only cost thirty dollars for the chassis of course I had to put in all the the electronics except for the steering servo but uh, it just shows that you know getting into the hobby doesn't have to be expensive thanks to thanks to Craigslist thanks to eBay 
Uh, you know, granted, you might have to repair uh, some, some or replace some parts, uh, but it, it's a it's a good way to get into the hobby for not uh, a lot of money. And you know, for me, we don't have to have the latest and greatest. We just want to have something that uh, runs around, right? So uh, some of the the upgrades in the future, we will probably upgrade the steering servo. Uh, it is a high tech middle geared servo, but um, it, it's a little bit weak for this this size of car, right? It it just doesn't have the torque needed to turn these wheels. Uh, except when the the truck is moving, right? So another thing is that these trucks come with uh, 14 millimeter hexes, right? So a, an easy upgrade is actually to drop in the the Traxxas or another brand 17 millimeter hub adapters uh, for the Revo or the Emax or T Max. They'll all work. And then just bolting on perhaps some larger tires or uh, you know just using that larger hex so that the uh, the wheels. Will not strip out as easily right so the, they are able to hold more torque so again thank you for joining us at racing to learn please follow us on facebook uh, like us uh, it, it's just facebook.com slash racing to learn or you can also uh, subscribe to us on youtube racing to learn all right thank you very much we'll see you next time